Hi, I'm John Martinez from John Sporting Goods in Everett, Washington, and today I want to talk about trolling with rice, davis, anchovy, and herring head holders. It's an excellent way to fish for salmon because it keeps the bait on for an extended period of time and it helps you economize your bait. Before you put your bait in an anchovy or herring head holders, you want to brine your bait and this Procure Brine and Bright Complete Natural Shine is a really good way to prepare your bait. I like to brine the bait for at least 12 hours before I go fishing and it gives that bait that bright natural shine that's salmon like. The type of hooks I like to use are the owner brand and for the anchovy herring and head holder I like to use 3 aught and 5 aught hooks. The 3 aught will be the, the top hook and the 5 aught will be the trailing hook. These hooks give good hookups every time a salmon takes a pass at your bait. The type of leader that I like to use is the P-Line CFX fluorocarbon leader material. I use 30 pound leader material when I'm fishing my anchovy head holders with flashers and I use 20 pound tests when I'm fishing the herring or the anchovy head holder just by itself. In this video you'll notice that I've tied these hooks with yellow leader material and this is for illustrative purposes only and that is so that you can see the spacing in the hooks and so that you can see how the anchovy head is threaded with the leader material. Now let's talk about rigging the anchovy herring head holder. It's fairly easy. You go through this hole in the back and then immediately past that hole you go through this hole in the side and then we're going to thread the leader out through the nose. You'll see the illustration after this that depicts exactly how to thread this leader. Now remember we're using the yellow leader material only as an illustrative purpose. Normally we would use the P-Line CFX fluorocarbon leader material because it's ultra clear. Once we get our leader threaded through our anchovy head holder there's one more step to go and I'm going to insert a toothpick in the back side of the head holder here and the reason why I'm doing that is this creates tension for the leader and I'm gonna break that off right close there and now when I'm adjusting the length of the leader or trying to put a bend in the anchovy head holder the leader can stay right where it's at and you don't have to worry about the leader pulling real hard on the leader and then kinking your leader. There's nothing worse than pulling your herring up after trolling for 15 minutes and find that it's bent like in a U shape. Now let's discuss putting the anchovy into the anchovy head holder. Just insert the anchovy into the holder and take this red pin that's supplied with the uh, anchovy head holder package and you just put that right through the eye right there and that's going to hold that anchovy on real well and that will troll for a long period of time. The next step is inserting the hooks into the anchovy. I like to insert the hooks right close, right on the lateral line there. Don't go too deep into the anchovy and come around and now I'm going to pull the leader tight. And I might do this just a little bit different than other people. I like the eye of the hook to come close to where I put the toothpick through the anchovy and then as this leader pulls tight as I'm trolling I don't have to worry about kinking the anchovy to an angle that I don't like. And see this rear hook? That's right at the end of the anchovy and that'll make really good hookups when the salmon comes up and takes a strike at this bait. There is our rigged anchovy. Notice the slight bend in the anchovy? That will give that anchovy the perfect spin. And notice the rear hook. That leader is tied just the right length so when the salmon comes up and grabs it either from behind or from the side of the anchovy you will be insured of a good hookup. There is our rigged herring. Notice the slight bend I have in the herring 
and also look at the nice shine that that herring has after being in the brine for 12 hours. That bait is going to be very effective for salmon. If you're using a Rice Davis anchovy herring head holder with a flasher, I prefer a leader approximately 60 inches long. However, a lot of anglers like a leader as short as 40 inches. And on the end of that leader, I've tied a P-line chain swivel and it keeps your leader nice and straight and you don't have to worry about the leader balling up as you're trolling. If you're going to troll the anchovy or herring by itself in the Rice Davis anchovy herring holder, what I would do is tie a 48 to 58 inch leader and that will suffice. And I'd probably just use 20 pound test. You don't need as a heavy leader for trolling when you're not using a flasher. I hope you found this presentation today on using the Rice Davis anchovy and herring head holder. It's going to help you be a more successful angler. You know, sometimes we have to get out of our comfort zone and try some new things when we're fishing. I'm John Martinez from John Sporting Goods in Everett, Washington, and I'll see you out on the water.